I can honestly say that Artsonia has 100% changed my classroom. Artsonia is an amazing, amazing program that you're able to have your students have online portfolios. Families get to see their child's artwork almost immediately from when we've created it and they can give feedback. Not only are they able to read all this and connect with their kids with their online portfolios, but those portfolios get to stay with them and they can stay with them their whole education from kindergarten through high school. It's like you started as a preschooler with all your work there and now you're graduating as an eighth grader and everything is there. You can just see the growth. And parents can purchase keepsakes made with the students' artwork. 20% of the money goes right back to our art room so that we can purchase fun things for our art room as well. Art Sonia really helped change how well we can communicate with our parents in our community as to what we are doing in our school. One thing I love is reading the comments that parents or grandparents or aunts and uncles or good friends have commented on the artwork. Everybody has an extended relative that lives someplace else. So they're able to send the artwork back to families and friends who may want to stay connected with their kids' artwork, but you can't see it because it's so far away. I have to budget in February for the following year. So I like to use Artsonia as a nice supplement to things that maybe I didn't originally put on my budget that I end up needing. The fundraising of Artsonia has been really, really helpful. I mean, over the years, I more than doubled my budget. It's my own funding that I can use on supplies or technology. I've gotten anything from three iPads to a huge, awesome, beautiful carpet that my kids love sitting on when I read to them. What's nice about Artsonia and allowing Artsonia to help me teach my students from home was that it made it so much easier for me to get the materials from them and get things graded. Parents could just snap a picture from their phones. I could see everything that was turned into me all in one place. And as an art teacher, when you're teaching hundreds of students, it was a huge help. I went into classroom mode so that my students from home could use the app and they could share the work that they were creating. It was a direct line of communication and it put the work right in their portfolio. So it, it really streamlined the process for me. I was able to use Art Sonia to post the lessons and the kids could see the directions. It was really nice to be able to have something that was streamlined and accessible and made for art teachers. I do get a lot of questions with this being my 24th year of teaching. They will say to me, you know, I want to be able to keep track of my student work. I want to be able to keep track of what I'm doing in my classroom. I want to be able to give student feedback. I want to be able to give students an opportunity to talk about their work. And I want parents in the community to see what's going on. I'm like, okay, you need to do Art Sonia. Let me show you how to get started because it's really easy. Hello, and thank you for joining us. Artsonia is the perfect tool for managing your art room, connecting with parents, and raising funds for your art program. In this presentation, I will show you how to set up your account and how to utilize Artsonia for remote and face-to-face -face learning. Let's get started with setting up your roster. Establishing your student roster makes it easier to publish artwork later on. As you publish artwork, a digital portfolio is created for each student so that all of their artwork from kindergarten through the 12th grade can be viewed in the same place. There are a few ways to build your student roster. Start off by clicking on Students. If your school uses Google Classroom, you're in luck. By syncing your Artsonia account with Google Classroom, your roster will be built for you. And when you create projects, you can easily post assignments within Google Classroom. To sync your Google Classes with Artsonia, click on Sync with Google Classroom, then sync the appropriate classes. 
One important note, if you teach at more than one school, make sure you are only syncing the Google classes that belong to the school associated with the Artsonia account you are currently logged into. Another popular way to build your student roster is to upload a spreadsheet that includes your students' names and grade levels. To submit a spreadsheet, open your student roster, select Add Students, then select Excel Spreadsheet. You have the option to include your students' assigned classes and parent email addresses so parents can connect to their child's gallery right away. When you are ready to submit your spreadsheet, select Choose File, then select your student roster file from your device and you can add addition notes if you need it. Then click Upload. From there, we'll build your roster for you within a day or so. Students on the new spreadsheet who already exist on your roster will be automatically merged and will not have a duplicate gallery created. So feel free to send us your entire class list on the new spreadsheet. You can also enter students' names individually by opening your roster and selecting Add Students. From here, enter your student's first name, last name, and grade level. Then select Add Student. An easy way to build your roster is to have students add themselves at the beginning of the school year. Students can do this by logging into the class portal using the Artsonia app or by going to artsonia.com slash class. They will need your school access code to log in, which you can find on your teacher homepage. Once they are logged in, students can add their name to the roster. One helpful tool I'd like to point out is the merging tool. If you notice that one student has multiple galleries, you can merge their galleries together to merge two galleries, open your student roster, check the two galleries you would like to merge, and then select Merge. Once your students are on your school roster, many teachers like to organize them into separate classes. This is great for keeping track of who is missing artwork. You can manage your classes by selecting the Classes link, if you submitted an Excel spreadsheet that includes classes or synced your Google classes, you should see that all of your classes are listed. If you'd like to set up your classes manually, click Add New Class and enter a class name. You can then select Include Students and check the students you'd like to add to the class. When you're finished, select Include Students. Once you have your rosters set up, you can start creating and assigning projects. To get started, select Projects. Then click Add Projects. If you're looking for project inspiration, you can browse our project idea videos or check out lesson plans submitted by other Artsonia art teachers. If you like one of the project idea videos, you can click on that video, then create project. This will generate a project showing the video under project instructions. For now, we're going to create a project from scratch by entering the project's name and selecting create project. Here you can fill out a description which will be shown on your school gallery. You also have access to additional features, such as connecting to the National Arts Standards and adding instructions for your students by uploading a video, embedding a link, or writing text instructions. If you are accepting artist statements about the artwork, you can enter prompting questions and even add a statement starter for your students. Prompting questions are shown alongside the entry field for students and a statement starter is a pre-filled sentence that a student can add to, such as, my favorite thing about this artwork is blah, blah, blah. When you're ready to share this assignment with students, select Assign, 
Then mark the grades and or classes you'd like to assign the project to. Once you select a grade or class, those students will see the assignment and instructions in the Ertzonia class portal and will have the ability to submit artwork to the project for you to review. We'll give you more information on the class portal in just a minute. If you would like to post the project to Google Classroom, select the Post Assignment link, make any edits, and then select Create New Assignment. This will post an assignment on Google Classroom with an embedded link for the student to directly submit to that project. If you use another platform such as Seesaw or Canvas or Schoology, you will find sharing links in the upper right hand corner that you can use to share the project with your students. If you use this link, remember that the students will need to know the school access code, which can be found on your teacher's dashboard. The Artwork tab at the top will show you all the submitted artwork for that project and any artwork that is still in review. If you are planning to submit artwork on behalf of the students, you can click the blue Upload Artwork button here or use the Artsonia app to publish student artwork. You can keep track of which students have submitted artwork to a project by clicking the Monitor tab. Here, you have the option to monitor by grade or by class. As mentioned earlier, students can submit artwork to teachers using the Class Portal. Any artwork uploaded by a student in Class Portal will be sent to the teacher to review and either approve or send back for the student to edit. If you have any artwork to approve, you'll see this under Messages. To learn more about Class Portal, select Class Portal from your homepage. Under Class Portal Setup, you'll find your school's access code and a QR code that students will need to log on to the Artsonio Class Portal. Please note that if you sync Google Classroom with Artsonia, your students will not need the school access code to log in. They will be able to simply use their Google Classroom login. Here, you'll also find useful setup options such as announcements. Any announcements you enter will be highlighted for students on their Class Portal homepage. Announcements can be different for each grade level, or you can copy the same note for everybody. You can also choose to allow students to add a title or artist statement as part of their artwork submission. Now I'll show you an example of the class portal from the student's view. To log in, students can enter the access code or scan the QR code from either the Artsonia app or by going to artsonia.com backslash class on a web browser. After the student enters the access code, they can select their grade level and their name. From the class portal homepage, Students can view their class announcements and see their assigned projects. This is also where students photograph and upload their artwork, enter titles and artist statements, and view their portfolio. To add art to a project, the student can select the project and click the Add Artwork button. They will then be able to add their title or artist statement if needed. After the artwork has been submitted by the student, you'll see the art listed in your project review. If the artwork submission is ready to be approved, you can enter feedback if you'd like. Then click the green Complete Review button at the top. If you need the student to edit the artwork, statement, or title, you can send it back to them to fix. To do this, select the Send Back button for the portion they need to edit, enter instructions, and then click Complete Review. The student will then see they have a returned artwork to edit with instructions. After the student makes their edits, you will see the return submission for you to review. 
Once you approve the submission, it will be published in the student's online gallery. Teachers can easily leave constructive feedback for students using the feedback or comment tool. The difference between the two tools is that feedback allows you to leave students a private note concerning their artwork, while comments are posted publicly alongside the student artwork. To give your students feedback, select a project, then select feedback, then write feedback. Here, you can enter constructive feedback for each work of art. You can also use the copy to all or insert favorite phrase links to save time. Don't forget to save changes when you're finished. Students are able to view your feedback in the class portal. Keep in mind that parents will also see your feedback when they log into their parent account. It's also important to note that if you plan to use the feedback feature for sensitive material such as constructive criticism or grades, please restrict student access to the class portal by enabling pins. Otherwise, students can browse to another student when logging into the class portal and view their feedback. To enable pins, select Class Portal from your teacher homepage, then select the Student Pins link. Check the boxes to enable pins by grade, then select Save. You can scroll down to see a complete list of student pins. Please note that the list will start with a blank field because the students will create their pin the first time they log in to the class portal. The comments feature works very similar to feedback. However, comments are posted publicly alongside the artwork for all to see. Since these are teacher submitted comments, the parents are not required to approve the comment before it is posted. Once you start using Artsonia, you'll want to connect parents to their child's gallery. One of the main reasons teachers love Artsonia is because it connects families to the art room. This family connection is how you, as an art teacher, explain what and how you are teaching. Once parents are connected to their child's gallery, they can invite other family members to join their child's fan club. Parents and fan club members receive email notifications when new artwork is uploaded to the student's gallery. So now they can leave encouraging comments for the students to read and purchase keepsakes featuring their child's artwork, earning you 20% of every purchase for art supplies. To review all the ways you can connect with parents, select Connect Parents. The most popular way to connect parents' accounts to students' galleries is to submit a spreadsheet that includes your students' names, grade levels, and parent email addresses. We will sync the information on the spreadsheet with your existing Artsonia roster and send parents an email invitation to connect. If you don't already have a spreadsheet containing parent emails, you can have your students add the parent email address using the class portal. Students can log into the Artsonia class portal using the Artsonia app or by going to the artsonia.com backslash class. They will need your school access code to log in, which you can find on your teacher homepage. Once a student logs in, they can select Connect Parent, then enter their parent's email address. From there, parents will receive an email invitation to connect to their child's gallery. Some teachers choose to print and distribute paper permission slips for students to bring home to their parents. These slips include the information parents need to connect to their child's gallery. To download printable permission slips, click on the blue Request New Slips button. Another way to connect with parents is to use the Open House tool. This is helpful when you have a parent night event or an open house at your school. Teachers can start an open house session on a computer or tablet in their classroom. Parents can then find their student's name on the list and add their email address.
You can also manually add a parent email to the student's gallery by clicking on the student's name on your roster. From there, you can click on Parents and then the Add Parent button. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Art Sony's customer service at 1-800-869-9974 or email us at info at artsonia.com.